Located in the ancient land of the Lusitanus Kingdom, in the Iberic Peninsula, known today as Lisbon, Portugal, Lisipo was a Roman port city that used to supply the trade of olive oil, food products and various other items from and to Rome. It also connected Germania and Britannia trades to the capital. In the port, in the forums, in the streets, people from all over the Roman Empire who thrive and engage in a trade involving much more faraway territories like Turkey, Northern Africa and the glorious Egyptian civilization. The city was notorious for the potteries, fish and olive factories and it was essential territory for the Roman Empire, being considered the main port of the Atlantic coast. It was crucial for the dominance and presence in the Atlantic Ocean and connection to the Northern Kingdoms because, much like nowadays, the majority of the cargo and economic routes were connected via maritime travel. Before we get into the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the channel's sponsor, Lusitano is a clothing brand that tries to mix history, culture and humor into fashion. They make everything from t-shirts, hoodies, caps and even bags. If you like the designs as much as I do, please have a look at the link on top of the description. Now let's get into it. It's hard to imagine a Lisbon without the castles, knights and princesses, kings and queens, a Lisbon without Fado, football, the delicious pastel de nata, or the typical busy tiny streets with people indifferent to the mighty Lisbon of the past. One of the oldest cities in Europe, founded more than 3000 years ago. But a different Lisbon did exist and still exists today. Beneath the Portuguese capital, there's a lost Roman port city of the name of Alicipo. It was right underneath our feet, and it always has been. Before the famous earthquake of 1755 that devastated and leveled the entire city, the existence of Alicipo was unheard of. Only when the rebuilding process led by Marquês Pombal began, that workers started to encounter secret tunnels, houses, ships and an entire ancient metropolitan city. From that point onwards, every time a skyscraper or a massive building project was about to commence, more of these structures would appear, so much so that the municipality of Lisbon has decided to study and preserve some of them, and they even created an app called Lisboa Romana, which translates, in English, to Roman Lisbon, in order to catalogue and showcase all the newly discovered ancient Roman locations in or around the big city. This app is a part of a larger project that has the following objectives. To open the Crypto Porticos to the public and potential new cultural tourists, project the municipalities in the Lisbon metropolitan area, provide information about this historic period, creating added value in terms of knowledge, enhancing the heritage, tourism, education, research, among others. To update scientific knowledge with the results from recent archaeological excavations. To develop partnerships with a number of public and private entities. The project aims to value and maximize the archaeological resources of the city of Lisbon and all of the municipalities belonging to the metropolitan area in order to educate, enrich and monetize the historical city. No ancient description of Olisipo is known or ever been found, but there are sufficient remains both in quality and quantity to form an idea about the city, which grew on the so-called Finnish Terre. As all Roman cities, it possessed a public administrative square better known as the Forum. This is where most of the main administrative and religious buildings were located. Other public buildings, such as the theatre and the baths, were 
enmeshed in the urban network together with private homes, stores and other public facilities. Presently, there are a high number of archaeological interventions resulting in the growth of knowledge and potential heritage, such as the discovery of new structures of monumental worth and the new materials that convey the daily lives of the inhabitants in the ancient territory of Olisibo. Some of these discoveries are either too damaged to be saved or don't represent any significant historic value to be restored. Therefore, the Portuguese government has decided to catalog, map and study all the findings, but only keep the ones that have enough physical value to enrich the city. People might argue that this is destroying the history of mankind and all buildings projects must be stopped, but others disagree and claim that the city cannot stop evolving just because there are some potteries, rocks or house foundations beneath the earth. In my opinion, the hybrid approach of keeping the valuable monuments and dismantling the less important ones that the municipality is taking is the right way of thinking, as long as they keep cataloging and studying all of the findings. This project, that will last between 2017 and 2023, consisting of several activities and events throughout different years, has not only helped unveiling the day-to-day -day routines, diets and materials used by the Romans of that time, but also it has enabled the creation of a 3D map of what the Lysipo would have looked like using modern day technology. Historians that are helping with this project claim that a lot of the structures are yet to be found due to being located under the Tejo River. This is due to the fact that the river flow at that time was way smaller, but currently the city doesn't have the financial means to explore that hypothesis, unfortunately. That is why the restoration and preservation of the most important findings and the monetization and the tourist promotion of them will help this project to be self-sustainable and hopefully, in the future, all of the CD will be explored and open to the public. For more information, please download the Lisboa Romana app. The link will be at the top of the description. If you'd like to see a follow-up video or similar videos in this channel, please leave a like and comment, and I'll make sure to make a second episode. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Obrigado!